Files. Press start to begin. All right, so we're bonus round session for like a dragon guiding on no one two 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 one two. Ready? Hell yeah! All right, ready to begin. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. We're back with more like a dragon guiding the man who raised his name. I'm your host, John Moogie, where I am. Joined as always by my co host, Jeff Peanut. Hey! And happy post Thanksgiving, even though you guys are watching this around Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, and I had a nice one. It was my nephew's first Thanksgiving. Yeah, this was uh, my Christine's second being with my family, and uh, we nearly had the entire family. And that was, uh, Aww. that was great for her. Oh, uh, right. Poli Kiryu's still in that pl a police checkpoint after we rescued uh, Hanawa. So I can't continue the story unless I move forward. And move forward, I have. Costa is the premier pocket circuit bar and cafe. Oh, is this what was holding me back? The pocket circuit thing being back? Hey, all you from a pocket circuit obsessive. Come relieve your child. Uh, we live shit. Come really live your childhood. Oh, I would we get put on some kind of watch list if it was relief. Take another lap on the pocket circuit track. Pocket circuit? Come to think of it, I used to be really into pocket circuit. I customized my cars, tried to win every race. <laughs> There's a lot of depth to the game. I was just as into it as the kids were. Excuse me. Are you interested in pocket circuit? Do you know how it works? Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I used to race all the time in my younger days. I heard the fad had passed, it looks like it's still popular. Yeah. It certainly is. Pocket circuit's had something of a revival in recent times. Our cafe here only opened a short while ago. Or is it because we're so far in late stage capitalism that everyone's relying on reliving old franchises instead of making new things? <laughs> Frozen for coming soon. Be ah. careful, don't you used to be in two pocket circuit, so you're a perfect fit. If you're available, would you like to take a look inside? We got a welcome event special going on right now. New guests get a free starter kit. Oh, free, huh? I'm curious what pocket circuits is like these days. Maybe I should check it out. Uh. You sold me, I'll take a look. Fantastic! Please come inside. Something I always wanted to say to kill you. Wow, it looks exactly the same. Hi. So, what do you think of the pocket circuit bar? Uh. It's nice. It let's adults be more comfortable without sacrificing that pocket circuit feel. <laughs> Thank you very much. We offer drinks in addition to pocket circuit, so feel free to stop by whenever you like. Oh yeah, my kind of place. Now, here's your free starter kit. It comes with a car and some additional parts. Enjoy! Golem Jaguar. Slick tires, power motor, balanced frame, regular gears, regular battery, red blaze. Thanks. This sure brings me back. You still collect a bunch of parts to customize your car, right? Hi. That's correct. We sell parts here at the cafe, of course. But some of the shops in the city carry them as well. The start kit only includes basic components, so please collect lots of parts and cars and create a lightning fast racer. Uh, got it. What should I do when I want to try to race? Simply speak to me! Rocket Circuit Fighter Ran! It's free, free to enter races since our main business is actually the item and drink sales. And what's more, every time you win, you'll receive points you can exchange for car components and other items. There's no penalty for losing a race either. It's a system where the more you race, the more you benefit, so keep on racing. Uh. Got it. When I want to race, I'll talk to you then. Nice to meet you. I'm Juryu. Nice to meet you too, Juryu-san. Hmm. Um, in the pocket circuit world, the standards to refer to other racers with Kern and Chan. So if it doesn't offend you, maybe I can call you Joyukun? Go right ahead. Great! Thank you very much! I look forward to lots of racing with you in the future, Joyukun. Pocket Circus is right for I need a change of pace. 
I should stop by again when I have free time. Yeah, I remember this, uh, this minigame can get pretty intense, and I literally follow the guide to complete it in Zero and, uh, Kiwami. Wanna give it a try, uh, no? Okay. Uh, well, you know what, why the fuck not? I never, I never, I never did it in the original anyway, so it might as well. Oh, you're here! Now let's get started with our pocket circuit explanation. It'll be easier to explain while racing a car myself, so let's move to the course. Okay. Race it. Oh yeah, the controls are exactly the same. <laughs> Allow me to introduce you to slot car racing. It's simple. Slot cars are placed in lanes, and whoever finishes all the laps wins first. But don't just stand there and watch. You can give your car a boost with your racer spirit, Joyu Kun. Try it now. Press triangle to use the boost. And that's why I call it speed. Do know, you can only beat your car a limited number of times. And boosting makes it easier to fall out of your lane. Yep. Just like that, your car looks close to falling out. How do you press circle to get back on the track? The faster you start pressing after you see your car in danger, the better your chances of recovering. Phew, that was close. Saving your car with zero only works when you have enough energy in the top left gauge, though. Now, you just race the goal line. Feeling impatient? You can fast forward the race. Wow, a toggle just for Austin. <laughs> oh, the left stick to the right to fast forward. Now that you can set a for a timer, you should for any race. Only reason I got through um, uh, this mini game as quickly as I did. You can fast forward the races. That does it for the introduction. If you'd like to hear it again or you just want some more advice, please feel free to talk to me anytime. And that's it. I'll sum it up for you one more time. Pocket circus that keep replaced it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All that. Racing course stars tournament and then time attack modes here. Good results reading your circuit points. Win tournaments to gain access more advanced tournaments as well as new parts in the item shop. As part of our welcome campaign, I'll give you some circuit points. You can say some for parts with the manager next to me. Try it out sometime. Did you learn something about packet circuit? If you need anything, you can always ask me. Something tells me I'll be uh, messing with this when we're done playing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for that platinum. Yeah, I still haven't gotten to platinum in zero. It's because I, I can't do mahjong and all that shit. Otherwise, I would be I would be very close to done. I beat the super boss with Majima. Oh wow! But not Kiryu. I don't think I. Uh, for whatever reason, I just don't have everything with for Majima. Up. Oh. Now that we're now that we're free to roam the city again, I can uh get some of common network stuff in. Homeless quit smoking. Just feels wrong not having anything to chew on these days. Wish I had some candy at least. Pine candy'd be good. I quit smoking recently for. Uh, it's, it's literally the same thing he wrote it again. Guess I'll pick up some candy at the convenience store. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna collect these for the uh common network and do them later. Motivation rock bottom and it, a turnier. Don't I have one of those? Let's check. No, nah, not yet. No. Oh. All right, where's? Oh, we literally have to go back to Akama's uh, house. So you know that uh, Bishu and Nafa adventure game my friend Luffy wanted us to play. Yeah. Well, I found out the creator got doxxed. Oh, what? Yeah, and uh, this is the fucked up part. Apparently, she got doxxed not because of 
people are offended by the content in the game, but rather because they assume she's transgender. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, she was doxxed by some QAnon group. Which is fucked up. And let me guess, they're not? Huh? They're, let me guess, they're not trans? Um, let's see, we don't know, it's never been confirmed. Not that it matters, it's still fucked up to dox yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, like, I don't- make no mistake, I'm like, wait. Because they thought, like, well, is it- Not- again, not that it matters, but I was just curious about the details of the, uh, the story. But whatever, don't dox people, that's, that's not okay. Yeah, also, I'm- Also illegal, if I don't if I remember correctly. Yeah, it wasn't funny when I went through it myself. Damn, you got a lot more health this time around. Shit. And I'm extremely strong. Yeah, that's why I'm extremely careful about the information I share online. Uh, um, oh. Austin, right. I'm gonna just skip through these just to put them on my, uh, on my inventory. Okay. I'm not letting you know right now. Oh, soccer ball. I wonder if I can throw that into the inventory. Why, hello? <laughs> I'll teach you to call it anything other than football. Oh, the ball got flattened too. Ah, uh, that's a nice detail. He wants eggs. Only eggs can sustain him. Did you offer me an egg in this trying time? What do you, what, who do you think I am, Danny DeVito? <laughs> it does feel fucked up though that I'm walking up to these people and like, Hey, please go have some food! I don't have any, but good luck with that. Oh my god. But then again, I do have that... Um... I, I have seen people, like, try to approach, like, panhandle me in public, and it's like, Bro, I work retail. I'm- 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 I'm very close to your- uh, your, your- your financial standing. Sorry, I don't have anything. <sighs> oh, cheer you. I've been waiting on ya. If you got a minute, I have a ton of work for ya. I just finished rescuing a kidnapped ally, but sure. Guess that means I'm available now. Austin, words Austin always wanted to hear. He's, a, he's that available. That was some fine work. You really made an impression on that castle calcium. I hear they're still chanting your name. Oh? Does that mean something? It means you got them hooked. Those hard to please elites are just itching to watch your fight again. Some are saying you could make a champion. Think of it. No more playing second banana to those puffed up big name fighters. That spotlight could be all yours. You'll be facing off against some of the world's roughest and toughest fighters. How's that for a notch in your belt? Come on, Juyu. You we both know deep down you're a bruiser at heart. Always will be. You can't resist the call of the ball forever. Am I right or am I right? Could be something to do, I guess. But I'm done with most of my business in Sojimori. I don't want you having to call in a helicopter on my behalf every time I need to get into the ring. Aw, come on, you're no stranger. Can you oh, that, that was fast. Everyone at the castle is chopping at the bit, waiting for you to get into the ring. I don't have any competitors in the man like you. Heck, if I got a chance and watch your fight, I'd be over the damn moon. So how about it? We could leave right now. You seem pretty eager. What's the rush? Oh, see, I might have signed a contract listing you as part of the main event. You what? It was baked into your registration forms. Ain't like I did it on purpose. The put some real sneaky shit in these fine print these days. All you gotta do is give them one more solid fight. If you don't, they're gonna slap me with a hefty breach of contract fees, so... Think of it as having both of us save face. I'm counting on you, chill you. You're not leaving me much of a choice, but alright. I'll find time to make my way over there. 
Mother Sunu Chinina. Great, but you see, the crowd's already changed your name. Those higher ups are promising a special bonus if you come tonight. Financially speaking, it'd make more sense to go now. And you wouldn't want to let down those devoted fans of yours, right? I guess you're really set on this. Alright, listen up. The fight you're answering is going to be a one on one death match. So either you win and get a reward, or you lose and get turned into worm food. But I'm sure you'll be totally fine. The strongest guy I ever met. Yeah. I don't need the flattery. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Now I'll put a lowdown on your opponent. This guy's a former pro wrestler, known for his raw power. They call him Hammerhead. I just to say his muscles are hard and his blows are harder. Ah, <sighs> says he ain't lost one since coming to the castle. Might be tough even for you. Didn't you just say I was the strongest guy you ever met? So much for the confidence boost. Hey, what kind of talk is that? Don't worry. You're still my golden goose. Accidentally sending you to your death would cost me big. So you can't shirk on your preparations. Or me Shiroki, even the weapon shops. Oh, sorry about that. Got a new gadget for your tomb. This one's called... The Weaponized Footwear Gadget, Serpent. Hornet, mm. Firefly, and now Serpent. If Mizorogi made it, I'm sure I can trust his quality. Right? You gotta get your hands on it. And when you do, let's head back to the castle. Sound good? Weaponized footwear. That's interesting. I mean, whatever could they be? Is it like a blade hidden in the uh, shoe or? Perhaps. Straight bones. Oh, sorry, Miyamoto. But maybe you should have rethought about having Legend of Zelda be live action instead of animated. <laughs> Or uh, having a bunch of Toads be the NPCs in the Mario RPGs. Well, having the Toads look exactly the same as each other. But but hey, with the advent of uh, the Mario RPG and Thousand Year Door remix, maybe we're maybe we're due for uh, uh, a new dawning of a new era. Yes, hoping. Like Sticker Star was a really big disappointment for me when I played it. Is it, Sticker Star is considered like one of the worst Nintendo games ever made. Mm-hmm. Oh. I guess oh, I bought- hey. That's right, I bought some Takoyaki while I was grinding. Oh, Neighborhood Watch. Ten Stroll and Patrol missions completed. Just putting them in my list. Hmm. Oh, another Takayaki one. We hit level seven too. Awesome. Okay, from now on, I'll just do the ones where someone's being threatened. Oh, and I have some locker keys. Tartar Maximum. Stamina and Spark. And those were the ones I had. What's this? Wedding ring fell in the river. Oh, you probably have to fish it out. Mm -hmm. Up, oh, there's a fight one. Yep, there we go. You can read these. Oh, time for collections. Fuck over the dough, you low lives. 
Uh, please, Chaboa, have it, I promise. You heard the man. He says he doesn't have it. That's always his excuse, the lazy bum. And what's any of this got to do with you, eh? Sorry, that so thug. Well, he has a lot of health. You really see me there? Oh, a thousand. Of course, there was no monetary reward. He's hom he's homeless. Can you imagine how fucked up that, that would be? He's like, please, I don't have any money. Uh, uh, please help me. And he's re the reward is the money that he owes. Oh my god. That would be funny though. Oh, you walk past the suitcase. Suitcase? Yep, right there. A bronze plate, you can sell that at the pawn shop. Oh, uh, I'm getting flashbacks to pawn stars and that me uh. Canyon parody. Stop talking about me Canyon. Uh, oh, who voiced this guy? You. I see. So you're going up against Shammerhead next, eh? Well, remember this is Jimbo from South Park? Oh, wait. I see. So you're going up against Shammerhead next, eh? Mm. Can't say I've heard of him before. Is he really that famous? Mm. Yeah. You're coming back in the box, pal. You sure I come a chance not send you up? Mm. Mm. She might be. As long as I've got one of your weapons, I'm sure to survive. That what you're getting at? Exactly right. And as I bet you've heard from Akami Chen, I got a new gadget for you. Mm. I call it the Weaponized Footwear Gadget. Ship it. Mm. And what do they do exactly? Mm. But Amani will be moving at unbelievable speeds. I'm gonna head will be at your mercy. Do they come in red and white? Mm. No matter how strong it may be, he can't do nothing if he can't hit ya. Mm. Sounds pretty impressive. But I imagine they'll cost me quite a bit. <laughs> ah, don't talk nonsense to you. What you're doing, acting like a stranger? We're way closer than that. So just take him. Shoe gadget, serpent. Jet propulsion shoe, serpent. You can now use the serpent. Serpent will be strengthened to money. And economy points in the pause menu is off the great screen. Doing so will bring you even greater advantages in battle. You got fucking rocket skates for Kiryu. Oh my god. Be rude to refuse you after you've said all that. Alright, I'll gladly accept. Good. But in exchange, if you want to upgrade those catches, I'm gonna need to charge you. Sorry about that. Yeah. That's only fair. I'd pay even if you didn't charge me. Anywho, I'll be waiting for your next visit. You got a fan for life in me, Joyu. I have to try these out. Oh. I mean, there's been a lot over the top that got to be used, but this has got to be amazing. Oh. I can choose. Right, how do you use them again? How fun, huh? Have you ever heard of a rhetorical question? No, I didn't <laughs> think so.
Oh. Wow, really on the bottom. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, just when I thought they couldn't take it to the next level, they proved me wrong. Now if only you could w uh, wander Kamarocha with those things. Mm -hmm. Hey, another chance to use them, I guess. Oh, finally found you. Today's my lucky day. I'll get you back for everything you've done. Yo. Okay. Hey, hey. Can we solve things without violence? Who asked you, old man? If you're gonna get in my way, I'll take it down. Shorty boy civilians. Wait, now you're just trying to make me feel bad. Eh, the corporate suits. So no, I don't. Uh, imagine if there was a group and the Texas comes up and just goes, Capitalist bootlickers! Uh, there is an enemy type with that name kind of in, like a dragon. Oh, awesome. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Q, he's down. My goodness, thank you, but this man, he's not a bad person. Leave the rest to me. Oh. Oh. I kind of wish you told me that before I snapped his neck. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you got 60,000 yen out of it. Mmm, <sighs> yeah, and, uh, and an unclear conscience. Add one more. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Street that. <laughs> so ridiculous. All right, from now on, John, anytime that happens, play one of the Shadow the Hedgehog song, uh, songs. Any of them. Throw it all away. I am all of me. All hail shadow. Just pick one. I don't care. And I don't think you will either. I hope everybody that watches this channel knows that I'm talking to myself. Because I've been the only editor of this channel for seven years. Oh, do you? I've been waiting on you. I just realized I've been doing this channel for seven years. Oh, seriously? Yeah? 2017? Oh. And you're getting closer to and closer to that monetization goal. Because they moved it three times. Hey, Julio, hold you really outdid yourself this time. Mm hmm. What do you mean? By the way, we will get the Shadow of the Hedgehog. That is a big task, and I would like to clear our plate first. You managed to get old man Misurogi singing your praises. He was discussing about how he thought you could be the best in the world, and oh my god, that lag. I wish I could give him all my merchandise on the house. He just wouldn't stop drooling over ya. Me too, sister. Mm. What kind of killer pickup line you dropped to get him to fall for ya that hard? From what I heard, he used to be a pretty renowned fighter. Maybe meeting me reminded him of those days. Huh. Well, either way, really save my bacon come back to the castle. Sandy. You got your weapons all sorted, right? Let's go on some cows in the Coliseum.
Oh, uh, this is- I forgot this is the place with the, with the BDSM carriage. Oh, there they are. Zeus's carriage is slowing down. Wait, hold on a second to you. What is it? Something else you wanted to say? Well, not exactly. Just wanted to tell you about the shop over there. The boutique. The boutique? Yeah, I bet they'll have some equipment for you, too. I'm ahead to tough a pun, so couldn't hurt, right? Right. I'll take a look. I do I do remember that this game actually has, like, uh... Costuming. This is, like, the one of the first Yakuza games, like, have complete character customization for uh, the protagonist. Awesome. So this is the boutique. We get some up. Welcome to our store, sir. Mm hmm. Who are you? My name is MB, the owner of this boutique. Is this your first time at our establishment? Uh. Yeah, I'm looking for a binding. Mm. It's a pretty fancy place you got here. What kind of shop is this? Yeah. Ah, we serve two different kinds of customers here at the castle. But it's at a calcium, and specially chosen spectators who've come to watch them. As such, we shall come in for those like yourselves in addition to fashionable wear of our non finding customers. It's it sold at a different counter. Fashionable wear? Wait. Oh yes, as you might imagine, our ordinary customers do not choose their outfits based on their protective properties, but rather how stylish they are. At the store, we sell only the best of the best, abstained across the globe. In addition, we provide services to help our customers put together the most fashionable of outfits. Mm. Putting together outfits? Wait. That's right. I see you have quite a lovely suit on, but is that perhaps your only one? Uh. Hmm? Oh, well, yeah. More or less. Well, be for me to criticize your choice, sir. <sighs> but the world is full of other suits and accessories. Yeah. Just by making small changes, you can become f perfectly fashionable even in that outfit of yours. And since you have, if I may say so, a very nice physique, a little effort is all it'll take to become a dashing gentleman. So, what do you say? Why not try out the trend ends for once? But I only need a binding. Yes, yes, you can buy that later. First, you need style. How about it, eh? Yeah. Plus, this is your normal clothes. I can also adjust your mask and outfit for when you fight the, in the Coliseum. No, the pink Rey Mysterio mask mm -hmm. stays on when I beat the shit out of people. You're a fighter, correct? What do you think? Have I caught your interest? My fighting outfit in the Coliseum, huh? I would rather not go out in some there in some ugly mask. Wait. Perfect. Let's take a look at both your normal clothes and your Coliseum getup. I guess it won't hurt to try. Castles, boutique, you show off some personal flair by coordinating your looks. Alpha items can be purchased directly from the boutique, but you also may find them around the city. Try different combinations and find something that suits your style. Okay, let's see. <laughs> awesome, gonna... I know Austin likes this mm -hmm. one. The neck. Oh, what about this one? <laughs> That's like a literal dad outfit. Casual dad. Do you want to go with the V neck instead? Yeah, yeah. Oh, patterns. Oh, pat. Oh, nice. Well, do, you, do you have a preference? Um, I like the first one. Oh, that's more like a casual red. Yeah, because that's this casual shirt. Pocket flare. Uh, mm. I, I don't want to blow all my money. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's like a golf hat. The lady. And now he wants to argue with women he doesn't know on Twitter. Yeah. Makeup. Oh, he's like different eyes. Oh, and actual makeup. <laughs> Ears. Oh, earrings. Nah, not necessary. Mm -hmm. Hands. Oh, you can do his nails. Very inclusive. Shoes. <laughs> Flip flops. <laughs> oh, okay. Imagine they had Crocs. Oh God. Red shoes. Okay. <laughs> the beanie. I like the hat though. That's that's nice. Oh, let's go for. Uh, let's look at some Coliseum outfits. Oh, fierce. Oh God damn it! They got that one. <laughs> that looks like the thing from Demon Slayer. Oh, how about that? For a COVID. Uh, makeup's the same again. Man, I wish I had spent all that money. I want that now. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbnail! <laughs> No, this keep this. Fine <laughs> dress up. So, our little outfit's like, the same as his casual, but he wears that stupid mask now. I really want that other mask, though. It's so dumb and funny. <laughs> Marvelous, you look absolutely wonderful. I do? It does feel nice trying something different. Paying attention to my clothes might not be so bad every once in a while. Yeah. Exactly right. We're going to have more good over time, too, so come back when you're in the mood for another change. You can purchase that binding you were looking for at the counter over there. Please take your time and see all that we have to offer. Prefer that you have any money left over after all that. Uh. <laughs> Understood. Here's put the equipment here. I'll take a look. When I'm ready, I should head to the Coliseum. Um, okay, which one is the... It's just like a barb, and I knocked everything over. <laughs> the clutch. Oh, that's... maybe her? Welcome! Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ, bulletproof vest is like a million yen. Jesus. There's um, no way you can afford anything in there. Yeah, it was a trick. I mean, it's like it made you, it made, it thinks that you're playing, like, and uh, doing all that, spending all that money, but no. So, um, I'm just gonna buy health. Um, one for health, and then a couple for heat. Alright. Someone just left the locker key in here. But you know what, I don't feel like going to the Coliseum right now. When do you think I should go? 
Oh, next challenge of a bonus round. Yep, so thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye bye. Man, the Kiryu looking suave now. Mm hmm.